This demonstration shows how to set a moderated discussion board so students cannot see other students' discussion posts until messages are approved by you. What we'll do first is we'll go to the discussion area by clicking on that link and you'll see I have a couple of discussion boards set up here. Let's move to this topic called introductions. I've already set up the discussion board but what I'll do is come over to the little pencil icon to edit the settings for that discussion topic. After clicking on that link, we're taken to the properties screen. And if I scroll down just a bit, you'll see we have a title, a description, and then below that we have a couple of options. We have one to allow anonymous messages, and the second is the one we're going to use, which is the, the moderation feature in the discussion area of desire to learn This box says messages must be approved before being displayed. Let's go ahead and check that box, and then we'll click the Save button. Now let's say a student logs in, which we're seeing here, and comes to this same discussion board. Notice for the student they see a little gray icon here and this icon means that messages posted here require the approval of the instructor before they're shown. So you can tell students to look for the little gray icon. We'll click to enter that topic, come in and compose a message, And now, when the student clicks the Post button, they'll receive a message. At the top of the discussion area, it says, Message posted successfully pending approval. It's important to note that the student cannot see messages they've already submitted that are pending approval. So you'll want them to only submit one time. Now we'll come back into the course as the instructor. Go to the Discussions tab. Scroll down and we see a note for our introductions topic. There's one unapproved message, or there may be more in your case. There are two ways to approve the messages. First, you can go to the topic where it'll display the messages for you, and you can actually click to approve. Or, if we go back, if you're giving an assignment where you want to release student posts at the end of the week or at the end of the module, then you can release them all at once by looking at the topic, going back to the pencil edit icon, and simply unchecking the box we checked before that says messages must be approved before being displayed. We'll uncheck that box, click Save, and a warning screen comes up telling us we've changed the approval requirements for this topic. And if we say yes here, all of the unapproved messages are instantly going to be posted where everyone can see them. That's really what we want, so we'll say yes. And now when we go back to the form and topic list, we see in our introduction space that all of the messages have been posted, no approvals necessary. This is a terrific strategy when you want to have students write reflective essays, but you don't want them to copy each other's posts. So you can turn on moderation and then release student postings at the end of the week.